Are you ready? The big reveal. <laughs> yep. That's the Walmart parking lot. <laughs> That's pretty though. All right, the big decision is to go with this black or the gray what I'm doing is I'm putting a secondary curtain up so there'll be dual layers so there'll be front and back hoping to give me a little bit more insulation and besides I ripped mine so this one would look just so much prettier We are running around picking up stuff because I got, I got. Always with the seatbelt chrome, this time we're not driving. We're running around picking up some supplies because there's a few things that I would like to do in the van. And while it feels like a nice sunny day out, it is a nice sunny day out. We're gonna do some work in the van. I want to put up a second layer on here just to help out with some insulation factor between the front and the back but I needed the second one so we could cut a piece of this off and make a little valance or a cover up here so no light leaks through because that's the only spot I get light leakage is just over top anyway I don't know why but we're at Ikea because I figured if we went to Yisk J-Y-S-K Yisk we might as well stop off at Ikea, take a little snoop around while I'm in the market to do some little changes to the van. veggie dog from Ikea for the total win. It's got like spicy sweet mustard on it. Looks like some dried crusted sort of like onions on top and pickled cabbage. Damn, 75 cents? Good job Ikea. This next one's gonna require me to rip down all of this stuff. When I first put this one in, because I have very little patience for building things, I just started cutting and cutting and cutting, so the bottom of this thing looks like a frayed mess, and uh, I think on the new one, I'm just going to fold the cutted area and just glue it down. I won't be doing that today because I need to, I need to figure out the right kind of glue to glue this fabric. I could use hot glue, but something else that I don't have to heat up would be great. But yeah, forget about sewing. I'm not about to sew and I'm not about to take that in somewhere just so over time this can get destroyed and then I paid for sewing. No. Keep it simple. Up top, my headlining here is actually really quite thick. I don't know if you can see in there. But I took my pocket knife, punched a hole in there and I just stick the extending shower rod. It just kind of works. I left one extra loop out on this side, which I just tuck in behind here. And my divider curtain was pretty much done. So we're going to pull all this stuff out and we're going to stick the black curtain on the inside, the gray curtain on the front side, hoping that the dual curtains will help a bit with insulating the front a little bit. I know I'm really bad at these projects and showing you the how to's and the step by steps. But I think this install is super easy, so we're just gonna let the camera roll. I'll probably chop this up a little bit. Here we go. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> 
when I put this thing up, it literally went up that fast. One rod in there, the other rod in this side, and boom, project was fully, completely done. I'm holding my giant, super tall tripod right now. It's huge. Okay, so we're gonna flip these curtains around. I gotta think about this, hold on. Doing this turned out to be a little tricky because if I'm putting these on one side and another on the other side, they both have loops on it. Thankfully, the new one has a different kind of a loop, so they're not as like in the exact same spot. These have like a material ones here. They work. I got half of it up here and put together. We're just gonna slide in the other half. I'm feeding these through one at a time. That way when they're shut, they're gray on the front, black on the back. Not really sure how I'm feeling about the black, but I also felt this same way about the gray when it went up. So I'm gonna give it a couple of days. If I don't like it, I'll just reverse the curtain around, gray on the inside, black on the front. Eh, who knows? Okay. So, because there's so much extra material on the bottom and I don't have a great pair of scissors. We're gonna lay this out and we're just gonna give it a rough cut. Like I said, I'm just gonna fold it, glue it, staple it, something. Definitely won't sew it because I don't have patience for that stuff. So we're just gonna start hacking. This is where I messed up the last one. <laughs> The plan with the extra stuff is there's a small little bit of a gap right above the curtain here where I was getting a bit of light bleed from before. I'm trying to find some better lighting here. Filming at the prime time of the day when the sun's at like the gleaming angle. Sucks. So what we're gonna do. Ooh, that's a good piece. We're gonna take this and we're gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut it about this wide of a piece, but folded wide. So hold on. I'm gonna get meticulous with this one. Because I know cutting this edge is going to make it fray and I really don't feel like gluing it or whatever. So this piece is going to be mounted to the roof right above that curtain so the edges just kind of hang over the top and give it a nice clean edge. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to fold this. So this piece is kind of in the middle somewhere. So when I screw this thing to the roof, that frayed edge is going to be on the inside, giving us a nice clean edge on that side and on that side. I don't know what I'm doing. I never know what I'm doing. I just do these projects and they kind of work out. <laughs> Let's give this a shot. <laughs> you like this look? There is a high chance that this is not gonna work. 
I got these little screws. They're just tiny though. I'm really not sure about this, but here goes nothing. So up here is where there is a bit of a gap. Up here. That's where the light's getting through. If you walk by and you happen to look up into the van, you can see the light bleed. So the thought with this is, fold it so the freight edge is on the inside. This is a little hard to work with. So perfect fold, perfect fold. I don't know what I'm doing. So there's the screw right dead in the middle. This probably doesn't make sense, but that's holding the frayed edge in the middle. I'm just gonna drive one screw in. We're gonna do this right above the bar, right in the dead middle. All right, looks like it held. My plan is to put these all the way along. Let me see if this worked first. The plan is to screw this all the way along, creating a little bit of a lip so no light can get through the roof on either side. Taking a closer look at the divider curtain, it's not perfect, it's not amazing, but it will do. I folded this material up, screwed it to the roof up there, ran it all the way down to the edges, took the leftover piece here, and screwed it to the inside right there, just to hold this nice and tight all the way across, and I threw another screw in right there as well. Yeah, these things move freely, nice and complete. Closed up, it's all black from one side and everything from the front is all gray except for this little valance lip on top which should keep this completely insulated and airtight. Not airtight, light tight. <laughs> Bonus. I think this all in all turned out pretty freaking good. I'm no expert or master craftsman, but I got some creative thoughts and I'm like, hmm, I can make this happen. Boom, I think they're both gonna work out. I got lots of little projects planned for the van coming up. A lot of little tiny finishing touches. All right, you guys, enjoy van life, enjoy your travels, enjoy all this planning time that you guys have. Ooh, it's so exciting, especially if you're getting ready for this lifestyle because it's so much fun. All right, you guys, see you soon. Adios.